Hi everyone, I'm Sophie and welcome to my channel, Sophie Labors Yoga. Today we're going to do part one of a two-part series for yoga for beginners. So today we're going to work on overall strength through the body, balance and posture, and next week we'll do core strengthening and flexibility work. So our yoga foundations are always really important. So whether you're uh, new to yoga or an experienced practice practitioner, always coming back to building really solid foundations is really important. I do it all the time. I like to make sure that I have really solid technique and using my body well so that you can practice safely and then progress onto more advanced postures and really feel the benefit of yoga. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss part two that comes out next week. And then when you're ready, we're just going to start sitting in a cross-legged position on the mat. So once you've found that cross-legged seated position, let's set our posture to begin. So sitting up nice and high on the sit bones underneath your butt, hands just rest lightly on the thighs. Find this beautiful openness across the chest. And then we want to create a really long spine all the way from your tailbone, all the way up through to the back of the neck and then out through the crown of the head. So sitting up nice and tall. Now let's just close the eyes here. And we're going to bring the awareness to the breath. So something I really love about yoga is the connection between the breath, the body and the mind. And it's through the physical practice of yoga and the, so the connection between the breath and the body that we can really clear the mind. So with the busyness of life and all the responsibilities, yoga really gives us that chance to find a little bit of inner stillness and calm. Just, so just focusing on the breath here, inhaling through the nose, expanding through the rib cage, and then on the exhale, Feel the breath just travel out of the body. Find that sense of calm. Let's take two more breaths just like that. Inhale and exhale through the nose as well. One more time. Inhale and exhale and open the eyes. Let's just take some neck circles. So just tilting the right ear towards the shoulder and then we just drop through the center and then tilting to the left. We'll just take half circles, then back through the center, keeping it nice and gentle. Just see if you feel any tension through the side or the back of the neck, back through the center. And the other way. Let's take one more each side. Just make sure you're still sitting up nice and high on the sit bones. Let's keep that beautiful posture going. Last one back to the right. And then from there, we're going to build on that a little. So this time I want you to round through the spine as you come through the center and then lift up nice and tall again as you come to the left. Let's bring in the breath. So exhale as you come through the center. Inhale as you come to the side. You can take the, this as fast or as slow as feels right for you and your body. Just breathing and enjoying this simple movement, rounding through the spine. And just one more each side. Exhale through the center. Coming to the right, sitting up nice and tall. From here, let's walk the hands forward. So just stretching forward, doesn't matter how far you can go. Stretch the hands forward, rounding through the spine. Feel that stretch through the back, maybe a little bit through the inner thighs as well. And I'm going to keep walking the hands around to the right. Keep walking them and we'll come up to a seated twist. So left hand on the right knee, find your twist and just eye gaze over the back hand. And once again, just find that breath there. Breath and body working together. Let's walk the hands back around, really stretching long, finding that stretch through the body. Walk the hands around to the left. And once again, finding that twist. Take that once more each side. So see if you can reach your torso away from your pelvis a little bit more. Really stretching out 
and find the twist. See if you can find a little more twist this time. And back the other way. Already starting to feel the body warming up, the energy shifting, coming out of the busyness of the day and into our practice. All right, let's come to a tabletop. So for tabletop, we want hands spread nice and wide for a solid base. Wrists are directly under your shoulders and knees are directly under your hips. So find that position there. If you need to take a break at any time, you can just relax back to child's pose here. Once we're here, let's take some cat and cow. So we switch on through the belly. Just feel uh, your abdominals switching on there. And then we'll push the mat away through the arms, round through the back of the body, come to cat. Then we come through the other way. So the heart comes through, arching the spine the other way. Come to cow. Let's take the breath with that. So exhale as you round through the back of the body. And then inhale. Expansion through the rib cage, opening through the chest. Let's take that two more times. Really try and get that articulation through the whole spine. Just really warming up the body here. Last one. And then back to neutral spine. So I could rest a, rest a dinner plate on the back of your body here. So now we're just going to uh, find a little bit of core stability. So just make sure your wrists are still under your, uh, over, under your shoulders, knees, under your hips. We're going to extend the right arm. So right arm comes out, thumb, thumb facing up, head stays in neutral alignment. So we're not looking up here. Just keeping it exactly where it is, core switched on. Let's take the left arm. So extending the left arm out, shoulders and hips stay nice and square. Hand comes down. Now let's try the right leg. So extending the right leg out directly from the hip. Belly stays switched on, so we're not creating a banana back here. Keep pushing the weight mat away through the arms. Lower the leg down, other side. Hips stay nice and square so we don't swing open this way. Keep it nice and square, working evenly through the muscles in the leg. And down. All right, you can either take single arm again or let's try taking the right arm out and extending the left leg. Keep that core switched on. Head stays in neutral alignment. And lower it down. Let's take the other side. Left arm, right leg. Keep pushing the mat away through the arms. Lower down. One more each side. Right arm, left leg. One straight line from your fingertips to your toes. And down. Other side. Keep breathing. And down. Beautiful. All right, let's build on from there. So we're going to come to downward facing dog. So here I want you to tuck the toes under, keep pushing the mat away through the arms, knees come off, sit bones, come to the high diagonal behind you, bend the knees as much as you need. You want your lower back and your butt like the apex, so the point of a triangle here. That's it. And then from there, let's pedal through the feet. So this will give you a nice stretch through the backs of the legs. Again, if this becomes a little much for the shoulders, come to child's pose and rest down at any time. All right, from there, let's walk the feet to the hands. We'll hang forward in ragdoll. So feet are hip width apart. And I encourage you to think about pressing down through the outside the big toe, the outside the little toe, and the inner and outer heel. So really grounding yourself to the mat. Bend the knees as much as you need. Chest is on the thighs. You can keep the arms long or take the back of the elbows. And just check here that the neck and shoulders are nice and relaxed. Let's take a deep breath there. Inhale. Exhale. Find that sense of release. And we'll roll up through the spine. So core switches on, rolling up nice and slowly, lower back, mid back, and upper back. Finding our posture here once again. So we ground down through the feet, belly is switched on, find that openness across the chest, and we'll bring the hands to prayer at heart center. 
we're going to take a sun salutation variation today. So we'll go through it all together. Let's lift the arms. Now my fingertips touch here, either bring them together or you can keep your arms, hands just shoulder width apart. From here, we'll fold forward, bend the knees as much as you need. Go to step back with the left foot to a lunge. Find that long line from your head all the way to your back heel. Then we'll come to downward facing dog, like we did before. From here, we roll through the spine to come to a plank. Let's bring the knees down today. Then from here, elbows in, keep the chest open, and we come down to a low plank. From Hold here for a little bit of strength through the arms, and then we come all the way down, cobra pose. Keep the neck nice and long, thigh, bo thigh muscles are pulled up, and then just lifting through the upper back. Then come onto the knees, push the mat away through the arms, downward facing dog. We'll step back through with the left leg to our lunge, and then we'll bring the right leg in. Then from here, rolling up through the spine to where we started, lifting the arms, find that length, grounding down through the feet, reaching nice and high to the sky with the fingertips, folding forward once again. Exhale as you fold forward. Let's come to our lunge, step back with the right leg this time. Inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog, deep exhale there. We roll through the spine once again. You can stay on your toes if you like. I'm taking the knees option today. It's a little easier. All right, coming halfway, low plank, pushing the mat away through the arms, building strength through the upper body. Come all the way down, then cobra pose. So this is a really good one for strengthening through the upper back. Keep the neck nice and long rather than crunching through the neck. Pushing through the arms, downward facing dog. Eye gaze to the feet here. Let's step through the right leg. Inhale, find that beautiful length there. Step the back foot in, exhale. Rolling up to standing, inhale. Finding that beautiful energy there. Let's fold forward, we'll take it once more each side. Exhale. Step back with the left foot, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Flowing through to your plank. Inhale, then exhale. Low plank. Come to cobra, or if you've got it in your practice, come to upward facing dog. I'm staying with cobra pose today. Pull back, downward facing dog, deep exhale here. We step through with the left. Keep those feet hip width apart for stability. Stepping in with the back foot, exhale. Inhale, fine energy as you lift nice and tall. Folding forward, last time. Stepping back with the right, inhale, fine length. Downward facing dog, exhale, flow through. Inhale, halfway, exhale. Hold for a moment here before you come down. Cobra pose, inhale, pull back. Downward facing dog, exhale. Look to the top of the mat, step through with the right foot. Hips low here, rather than too high. Step the back foot in, exhale, then come to standing as you inhale. Beautiful, hands come to prayer at heart center. That's our sun salutation A variation. Let's move on. We're coming to a bit of a standing strength sequence. So keep the, heat, the feet hip width apart. We're coming to chair pose. Sink the butt back, lift the arms. We won't take this too deep today. Just a, just a slight stool, I guess you'd say, or high chair. From here, we step back with the left leg. Feet are hip width apart once again. Lift those arms nice and high. And then from there, we'll come to warrior two. So warrior two, arms come wide here. Knee no further forward than this ankle. And we really push down through the outside of the leg. Can you come a little lower here? Test the, uh, the lower body strength. All right, from there, let's come to triangle. So we extend this front leg. We reach through the arms, drop this hip, rotate. Eye gaze can stay low today for balance. Hold there, and I want you to think like you're between two panes of glass rather than coming forward like this. 
Shoulders stacked, hips stacked, one on top of the other. From there, extended side angle. So bending this knee, forearm to thigh, this top bicep by your ear. Then from there, we'll look to the top of the mat, step back in, sink back to chair pose. Let's take the other side. Stepping back with the right, find that crescent lunge nice and strong, feeling the strength of the lower body, turning away from me, warrior two. Sinking down, arms nice and wide, energy right through the back of the body, out through the fingertips. Then extend the front leg, drop the hip, come to triangle. Eye gaze low. Keep a micro bend in the knee so you don't lock into the joint. Then from there, extended side angle. Bending through the knee, forearm to the thigh, bicep by the ear, eye gaze nice and high. Look to the top of the mat. Let's step both feet in. Sink low. Let's take that again. Step back. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Sink low. Triangle. Reach. Rotate the arms. Extended side angle. Bend the knee. Forearm to thigh. Bicep by your ear. Building strength through the lower body. Look to the top of the mat. Find your chair pose. Stepping back with the right. Turn away from me, warrior two. Nice and fierce, like a warrior going to battle. Triangle. Extend the right leg, uh, the left leg. Reach. Rotate the arms. Keep the eye gaze low. Extended side angle. Bend the knee, forearm to thigh, bicep by your ear. Look to the top of the mat, step the feet in, chair pose. Let's hold here, sink a little lower this time. Three breaths here. Stay strong. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Standing up, good work. Shake the legs out, rolling down. And then down to the mat. Turning to face me, we're coming straight to some stretches now. So let's take butterfly position. Soles of the feet together, knees nice and wide. You can always sit on a block. I normally have my blocks there, but I left them at the studio. So you can always place a block or a cushion underneath you to help you sit up a little taller. Then from here, let's inhale for length, exhale, folding forward. Deep breaths. Encouraging the muscles to relax. Then from there, coming back, lifting up nice and tall. Let's just take an open twist. So inhale, then exhale, open the arm. Find that beautiful openness right across the chest and out through the fingertips. Hand comes down, let's take the other side. Open nice and wide. Nice and tall, proud. Bring the hand down. Let's extend the legs to a wide V here. So a stretch for the inner thighs and the hamstrings too, probably. Feet are flexed, sitting up nice and high on the sit bones, walking the hands forward once again. Doesn't matter how far you can come. So you want to go to no more than about 80% of your range. So where that is that you can hold the stretch, but you're not having to tense or hold the breath. And remember that with consistency and patience comes progress and growth. Just breathe here. From here, we'll take a side bend. So hand next to the calf, inhale, then exhale, folding over. Find your side bend. And when 
your stretch you want to hold uh, each stretch for about 30 seconds to a minute or five slow breaths so just really giving the working muscle a chance to relax and coming up let's take the other side hand comes down inhale exhale side bend over really reaching those fingertips for the side wall And coming out of it, time for a hamstring stretch. So bending the left leg in, stretching the right leg long, sitting up nice and high, finding that length through this hamstring muscle, the back of the thigh. Reach the arms, inhale, exhale, folding forward. And just check here that there's no tension through the neck or through the shoulders. It's very easy for it to creep up there. Breathing, trying to find that sense of release, of relaxation. Walking the hands up, let's take the other side. Left leg long, right leg in, sit up nice and tall, find length right through the spine, right through the fingertips, and then folding forward. And these postures where we're sort of folding forward give that beautiful chance for some introspection. So bringing the gaze inward into the body and just seeing the breathing, the heart rate, body temperature. Just time for you and your body. walking the hands up and now we'll lay down on the mat so just rolling down and we'll come to reclined pigeon so here crossing the right leg over flexing this foot to protect the knee reaching the hands either behind the leg or on top of the shin and draw the knee down you can always place a cushion under your head if that makes it a little more comfortable for your neck just feeling that beautiful stretch through the outside of the hip, through the glute. And again, no tension through the chest or through the, the shoulders and neck. And let's cross the other foot over. Reach the hand through. Take the back of the thigh or the top of the shin, draw the knee down and find the stretch on that side. Once again, just that beautiful intentional breathing, full body breaths, letting the breath really travel down down through the body and down to the feet even. And releasing that one gently, let's come to a twist. So bringing the knees together and the toes together, taking the arms wide so the fingertips are in line with the shoulders here. And if it feels good for your neck, turning the head in the opposite direction. Finding that beautiful twist through the spine. Really taking care of our spines. Really starting to draw the energy down as we come towards the end of our practice today. Let's bring the knees through centre, come to the other side. So knees and ankles together, take the arms wide so you can see the fingertips in line with the shoulders and turn the head if it feels good. If 
finding that beautiful sense of twist, really letting uh, the knees turn one way and the shoulder drop the other way. And then coming through center once again, happy baby. So options here, either taking the arms behind the knees or you can take the lower legs or if you have the range, you might wanna take your peace fingers to the big toes, wherever you are. We then just draw the knees down towards the armpits. And you might want to take a gentle rock side to side, just massaging the lower back on the mat. And once again, deep, full body breaths. And then from there, let's finish our class with a short meditation. So stretching the legs long, feet are about hip width apart, toes just relaxing outwards, hands resting outside of the mat, palms facing up, close off the eyes here. And once again, just finishing how we started, really focusing in on the breath. So breathing in, expanding through the rib cage, belly lifts. Breathing out, belly lowers down, ribs draw back in as the breath flows out of the body. As you breathe in, find that sense of fresh, new energy, vitality, nourishment. And on the exhale, finding that deep sense of calm and relaxation. Just a few more breaths there in your own time. From there, bring a little movement back into the body, maybe wriggling the fingers and toes, circling the ankles and wrists, maybe stretching the arms nice and long, finding as much length as you can, a gentle arch through the upper back before hugging the knees in towards the chest, wrapping the arms around them. when you're ready rolling over to one side and just taking a moment there for yourself and keeping the eyes closed we'll push ourselves up to a comfortable cross-legged seated position right where we began and still with the eyes closed let's find that beautiful posture once again with the sit bones anchoring you to the mat your hands just resting lightly on the thighs Openness through the heart and pressing up through the crown of the head. And then bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for our practice today. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me for, uh, for this part one of our Yoga for Beginners series. As I said, next week we'll be doing uh, part two, which will be core strengthening and more flexibility work. So I hope you can join me for that one too. I will see you soon, everyone. Goodbye.